Hey, welcome to Worship Tutorials. We have done a like a full review video on the Universal Audio uh, amp pedals, the Ruby, the Dream, and the Woodrow. Since we did that video, we've seen a ton of people, uh, you know, kind of move over to these pedals as their sort of amp in a box platform, running a board into them. And a lot of people are going for the Ruby and the Dream, which would be the Vox AC30 and the Deluxe Reverb. Uh, buying both of those and using them as a stereo setup, kind of like running your stereo pedal board into an AC30 and into a deluxe reverb. We did not do that in our original video. We had some people ask if, if we tried it. Actually, we didn't even try it. Uh, we were... <laughs> We were like, we tried to cram as much as we could in that video, um, and it was, we just felt like we didn't have time for it in that video, but we've been curious. So uh, we hooked both pedals up. You can see a top-down shot. This is my worship tutorials board that we've used in content before, and you can see it's running into the Ruby on the left, the Dream on the right. The pedals are in stereo, and they're panned hard left and hard right. It sounds awesome, and wanted to make a quick little video to show you how it sounds. Uh, one thing we wanted to do was show you the sound in the context of a song. Um, so we picked the song Battle Belongs. Uh, it's a, I, I chose that song on purpose because it has a lot of different tones. It has clean tones, big driven tones, big driven tones with a lot of reverb, uh, like modulation, pitch effects. It's a Phil Wickham song, so it has everything in there. If you're not a church or praise and worship person and you're here just to hear how these sound, it's a cool song, uh, and I think it shows off what these... Uh, you know, what these pedals do with a lot of stuff going into them. So there are chapter markers below if you just want to jump to the song or to the end to sort of some final thoughts. But before we do that, I wanted to show you just some sounds of the board into the uh, the amps, into the, the amp pedals. For this video, I'm going to use this Strat. This is a Fender uh, The Edge from U2, signature Stratocaster. This is an awesome guitar and probably a video for another day to tell you about how great this guitar is, but um, I really like the way it sounds. So what I've done is everything on the board is off, and so you're just going to hear the guitar running through the board but nothing on, straight into the pedals. It sounds like this. I'll kind of go through the different pickup positions. <laughs> So you can hear, I like to sort of set things up so that there's a little bit of breakup, especially on the bridge pickup. And that's a pretty hot bridge uh, pickup, especially for a Strat. To me, it sounds more like a P90. Um, so let's do some sounds here. Usually I run at least a compressor, a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay, and that would sound like this. Okay, so we'll throw a little bit of drive on. Actually, let's go King of Tone first. All right, now we're gonna go with the 808 side of a Duelist uh, by King Tone. King of Tone and King Tone, they're different. Um, this is the 808, the Duelist. I have fuzz on this board, so uh, here's some fuzz. Nick, that was good. That sounded awesome. All right, <laughs> he enjoyed it. That was The Scarab by Basic Audio. Another question people have had about these, real quick, before we jump into um, the song demo is, what do they sound like with a lot of effects going into them? So that's always been a thing with digital amp modeling, is how well they handle reverbs and delays into the front of an amp. It's a sound uh, that in, in modern praise and worship that you hear it a lot. Um, like if you're used to the patches, most of the patches and stuff that we've made at Worship Tutorials for like Helix and, and Fractal and stuff, have, we put the, the wet effects after the amps, which is a different sound. It also sounds great. Uh, one of the reasons we do that is because 
digital amp modeling doesn't always act like a real actual amp when you run all that stuff into the front. The UA pedals do it really well. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna play some clean stuff. So I've turned on a dual delay from the art of the DD500 in stereo and the black hole reverb from Eventide, which is a longtime favorite of mine and of Nick, who's behind the camera. Yes. It's so good. All right, here we go. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> So usually with amp modeling, digital amp modeling, it handles the clean stuff into the amp uh, fairly well as far as reverbs and delays. Where it gets weird is when you add drive. So I'm gonna add some gain onto that sound that we just made. Uh, first I'm gonna go king of tone, then I'm gonna turn the duelist on on top of that, or in, king of tone into the duelist for like a lead, a big ambient lead sound. Anyway, here's king of tone, bridge pickup. <laughs> So to me, the, the UA amp pedals uh, react like an amp. They sound like an amp. They sound um, like you would expect an AC30 and a deluxe reverb to sound when you hit it with that much gain and with that much reverb and delay. Um, they do a better job than a lot of other uh, digital amp modeling when it comes to those types of sounds. You heard how that reverb and delay just kind of got all um, gnarly, but in a really good way. Uh, is that a word? Is that the way to describe it, Nick? Yeah. You heard it kind of crackle and break up, but it was really cool um, that not all digital amp modeling platforms do that. All right, next we're gonna hear uh, these two pedals in the context of a song, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we made this statement in the original demo video that we did that we feel like these UA amp pedals um, really sound and feel like you're playing a real amp in ways that a lot of digital modeling platforms don't really get. Um, and, and a lot of times the other digital platforms are going for a different thing. But what UA was doing is they wanted to give you the experience of having a a 60s Vox AC30 top boost in a pedal, and that's exactly what that is. We, You can go watch that, that other video, which is linked below, for more of our thoughts on it. Um, specifically, uh, with the Ruby and the Dream in stereo, I think it's a really great combo, because you've got you know, of the, the AC30 and the Deluxe Reverb types of sounds together works really well. One is a mid-push sound, one is a little more of a mid-scoop sound, so together they really feel fill out the sonic spectrum. Um, I think they're a great pairing. Personally, I really like running uh, into, because you can run, both of these pedals are stereo pedals. So if you run just a stereo board into just the Ruby, you get like two instances of the Vox AC30. You can't use different models, but it's like two discrete signal paths. Um, so you do get stereo in that sense, and that sounds great as well. But if you want something where you get more separation because there's different types of sounds, this is a really cool way to do it. One note about running these two pedals in stereo, just like owning the real amps, if you had a, an AC30 and a Deluxe Reverb like from the 60s, they're not in, they're, the phase is flipped, so they're not in phase with one another. So I'm running these two out direct into a UA Apollo, and then on one of the channels, I'm running a plugin that's flipping the phase. So you'll have to do that if you run these in stereo. Uh, that can be done pretty easily. If you're running into a board, most, you know, audio, modern audio boards, like at a venue or at a church, well, you'll be able to flip the phase on one channel. Um, you can also get a pedal like a Deso. I know that Walrus just came out with one, or like an Interfacer as well, sort of like a direct box type of a pedal that, that allows you to flip phase on channels individually. So there are pedals that will do that for you. It's just something to keep in mind. Uh, you need to flip phase on one of them. It doesn't really matter which one, just you need one of them needs to get flipped. But um, I think it's a really cool combo. I'm actually trying to figure out how I can build like a tiny little mini board that has power and a way to flip phase for one of these so I can just have like, that's my amp that I run this board into because uh, I really like the way these sound. And they're simple. It's like the controls that are on there are the controls. Um, and so it, it is very much like plugging into real amps um, just digitally with a direct out. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Uh, YouTube Analytics tells us that many of you who watch, most of you who watch, aren't subscribed. So Nick, put in some sad music. Do it, do it now, please. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> maybe not sad music, maybe something a little more aggressive. <laughs> do it now, do it, do it. One, two, three, two, one, do it. Do it now, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.